Okay, this is a video walkthrough of 4467 Pike Avenue. This is a three bedroom house on a pretty nice street. There's Harvey. How you doing, Harvey? <laughs> There's Jules. <laughs> <laughs> and so Pike, Pike is a nice quiet street. It's dead end uh, down here to the left. There are a couple crudsy houses right at Wilkinson that you have to drive by, but there are nice, nice houses well kept on this street. So this, this house, is get some lights on in here uh they have new carpet in the house you walk into this living area i see there's built-in speakers um it is block with i think the this is a this is built out is going to be uh actually wood but it has carpet and tile and you can see the kitchen here um the kitchen's been redone it actually has uh some nice granite and the cabinets are are actually pretty nice with dovetail joints. Um, so the kitchen's been redone. The only thing they didn't do is take that plastic stuff off the ceiling. It drives me crazy. It's so easy to fix. Uh, could use newer appliances. These are kind of dingy white appliances, but it's it's cute and it's in good condition. And so then we walk around uh, through this way. We have one bedroom with a closet. Decent, these are PGT windows. Um, uh, they are vinyl windows, so they have been upgraded. I like the, uh, the trim all in here has been redone with the little rosettes and the fluted trim. So they've done some nice things. Again, the carpet is nice and clean. This would be the master bedroom because it has its own bathroom here. This is the half bath. And it actually is quite nice because it, it has a new vanity and a granite top. Nothing too fancy, but it's nice. It's been, it's been redone. And um, so this is, it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. That's the half bath. Has actually two closets here, which is interesting. This house was built in 1975. And um, they've done a lot of nice things to it. As long as you don't mind the carpet. So the last bedroom will be over here. And as you can see, we stepped down. This was obviously converted from a garage. There is no garage in this. This was the garage. It's been converted into a bedroom. So this is the third bedroom. Um, it has a good sized closet here, but this is um, total square footage is 1359. The under air square footage is 1100. And so it's, it's, it's tiny, and I just want to show you the lanai out back because that is the difference between the total square footage and the heated square footage is this space, a screened-in lanai, which is actually nice. They have redone the tile, newer door here, and a little backyard area. A fire pit with some pavers, place to sit, some nice, um, nice plantings around, and it is fenced, has a little shed over there. Overgrown with bougainvillea, but that's that's fine. And um, so you see, we have hurricane shutters. I didn't see any hurricane shutters, but we'll take a look out here, and maybe we'll find the shutters in this shed. I'll bet you that's where they are. That's nice having this shed here, and no hurricane shutters in there. Maybe in the other shed. This is the AC unit. Um, so it's an all-in-one uh, condenser and. Uh, um, air handler and so it's it looks pretty old I'm a, a little concerned about that the roof looks decent it's not new but it's not old just to give you a shot of the roof here and and so I gotta check that out a little more thoroughly before I give pass judgment on it so anyway this is it it's listed at 143 um, I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000.